In Luke 10 18 Jesus says, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. The context of these words is the return of the 70 disciples that Jesus had sent out to evangelize and prepare his way to Jerusalem. When the 70 return and give their report, they are joyful and a little surprised that even the demons submit to us in your name. Jesus' first words in reply are, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. In referencing Satan's fall from heaven, Jesus most likely had in mind Isaiah 14:12, How you have fallen from heaven, morning star, son of the dawn. You have been cast down to the earth, you who once laid low the nations. The fall of Satan that Jesus saw happened after Lucifer's sin, before Adam and Eve's temptation in the Garden of Eden. In his pride, Lucifer had lifted himself up, but God had cast him down out of his original place in heaven. Jesus' statement in Luke 10 18 speaks of Jesus' pre existence and the Lord's defeat over the power of Satan in a general sense. When Jesus' disciples came back to report their joy over their authority over demons, Jesus, in so many words, tells them they should not have been surprised. Satan is a fallen foe and has always been subject to the authority of the Son of God. Jesus had sent the seventy out in his authority which extends over the demonic realm. Satan's fall, like lightning, indicates that his judgment in heaven was swift and obvious. Not only did Jesus give the seventy authority over devils, but he also enabled them to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. As the seventy are, celebrating that the demons were subject to them in Jesus' name, Jesus redirects their excitement by pointing to an even bigger blessing their salvation. Jesus says, however, do not rejoice that the spirits submit to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. Casting out demons has a temporal, limited benefit in this world, but having your name written in heaven is an eternal, unlimited blessing. Revelation 12 9 refers to another time in which Satan is cast out of heaven. The great dragon was hurled down, that ancient serpent called the devil, or Satan, who leads the whole world astray. He was hurled to the earth, and his angels with him. We believe this happens during the future tribulation period when Satan is barred access to heaven once and for all. At the end of, the great tribulation, Jesus will return, overthrow the kingdom Satan was attempting to set up, and bind the devil for one thousand years. At the end of 1000 years, Satan will be released for one final battle, but he is defeated again and thrown into the lake of fire for eternity. Jesus has power over Satan and power to save us. Still today, believers face a spiritual battle against forces of evil. With God's spirit, we do not need to fear Satan or evil spirits. Rather, we depend on the Lord's strength for victory in our spiritual struggles and trust that God will preserve us for heaven's inheritance. The one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world.